Years of experience with horses and a trophy cabinet full of plaques and silverware won at various ploughing matches throughout the country has honed his skill to perfection. Ploughing match judges know what they are looking for. The furrow slices must be straight. They must also be parallel. They must be the same thickness and they must be the same height. The pair of half-bred Clydesdales know well what they are doing too. They have done it all before. They know the pace at which to walk, so there is no need for the master to hold them back. They know the master's voice. They know their job. Even so, with the shortening day, the team will do well to plough an acre of ground before nightfall. Years ahead of its time was this 1928 one-horse drawn potato planter. It was awarded a silver medal at the Royal Lancashire Show at Oldham that year. It is doubtful if this Albion ever caught on. It was a two-man operation, although some would have said that a horse could have been trained to operate on its own. Strangely enough, for the next 20 years there seems to be no record of any other way of planting other than the old back-breaking method. 